Simon, welcome to 100% LCFC. Uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, yes, mate. Um, it was, wasn't it, really? No, you know. Didn't expect five today, if I'm being honest with you, but uh, horrendous challenge on Pratt um, from Hayden. Um, I just, I was actually down just going to the toilet at the time, so I managed to catch it on the screen. Bent his leg um, as he put, as he went over the top. Horrendous. He's very, very lucky to have been able to play uh, the rest of the uh, rest of the game. Um, from that point on, there's only one team in it, and, and really pretty much only one team in it for the whole game. Um, they looked second best throughout, really. Yeah, it looked like, to be fair, even when they had 11 men on the pitch, it was looking like it was going to be Leicester's to win it. They go down to 10 men. I, they didn't really stand much of a chance, did they? No, absolutely none. And um, last 20 minutes, I think they were a spent force complete. I think they'd, uh, they'd given up the fight, as it were. Um, Leicester, obviously, absolutely imperious today. Um, played absolutely great. The intensity was fantastic. Um, I thought Pratt actually had an absolutely fantastic game in the place of Madison. Um, and obviously Vardy, two goals again today, he got in the mix again, um, back on the score sheet. So I think we're all going home very happy. Yeah, I, I mean, we often go, who was man of the match today? A few candidates in there. I thought virtually everybody had a good game. Who would you nominate to be in that man um, of the match sort of category? You're saying Pratt? For me, it's Pratt, yeah. I thought he was, I thought he was fantastic. Um, he's got a mix of a game. He's not just the one... One show pony. He's, he's got a mix of a game there. He can he can get back and defend. He's good with the ball coming forward. He's creative. Um, he's set up the um, the second goal as well with that cracking pass out to the left. Uh, great vision for that as well. So for me, it was him uh, and, and testament to him for getting up after that horrible challenge as well to play the rest of the match. Heather's here as well, by the way. Yeah, so do you want to come in and chat with us? Her Heather, you won the, the tickets from Jamie's show on a, on a Sunday. Did. did you enjoy that today? I really enjoyed it. It was so good. Um, you, you were sitting the right end as well because you're sitting in the family stand, weren't you? So four oh goals. It was brilliant. Which player stood out for you today from Leicester? Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy. He always stands out for me. Fantastic cross by Mark Albrighton for yes. Vardy to head that in. Oh, I love Albrighton, and I'm just sorry that he doesn't come on more often. But he didn't do himself any harm today, Simon, did he? But no. Mark Brighton when he came on, I think they put some stats on the screen. He'd, he'd only been on about eight or nine minutes, and yeah. he'd, had, he'd had 18, 20 touches, All one Brighton assist. is really part of the t should be part of the team. I think he will do. He's working himself back in there. Yeah. Who, yeah. Heather, who was your man of the match today then for Leicester? You've said that, Vardy, haven't you? It'll be We're Jamie Vardy. <laughs> We're going to win the league. You know, it's he Chappers. won't believe us. Chappers. <laughs> wow. You enjoy that? Oh, did I enjoy it? I'm going in there for a beer. Is that good? Yeah, brilliant. Who, we're just talking about Man of the Matches. Who, who was your nominations, at least? All of them? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah, you can say that. All of them. Wait, <laughs> Anthony? Uh, got to agree, but I think you've got to give a special shout out to Dennis Prayer. In his first Premier yeah, League start, yeah, he looked yeah, completely, yeah, really so he looked completely comfortable and completely at home. Yeah. Right? And like Newcastle, they're not. I know we beat them five 0 but they're a team that are physical and like a hard team to play against. Yeah, fair, fair, and he fair. didn't look com out of his depth at all. He looked completely comfortable. He was brought in to sort of compete against Madison and, yeah. and Tielemans, and I think he he's shown that he's capable of doing that. He's jumped straight in, hasn't he? I mean, there was some pressure there. I didn't yeah. think of that. Um, jumping in with Madison's position and. He's, he's done well today. He did do well. I, I, my man of the match, I'm going to give it to Ricardo Pereira. And, and what a fantastic oh, goal that was goal. in the first half. I've seen it. I've watched it. Oh, what a goal that is. He's, he's won it. He's took the player on. He's gone all the way, all that way on his own. Bang, smashed it bottom corner. What a goal that is. Yeah. And, yeah. and he, he looked he looked in control down the right-hand side. And did he play fantastic as well? <sighs> Indeed, he, he didn't have huge amounts to do today because sort of his game is stopping the attacks and stuff so we all know how good he can be but what he did have to do he did well so you can't complain with 5-0 win which was Simon which was your favourite goal today uh, first one I Ricardo <laughs> yeah you're right Lee uh, yeah first one mate. When, when you see it back he just bends it in the corner it's an absolute cracking finish brilliant goal brilliant goal and Jamie Vardy we think he was going to get a third but yeah I mean someone said in the stands you should have played maybe Took him off and gave Nacho a good 15 yeah, minutes. I, I, to be fair, we said the same at our end. It was, it, it was a know. game to give Nacho a, a bit of a run out after him scoring a goal yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah. Nice to see him to come on. We need Vardy next week against Liverpool. He could have got booked. You don't know. Difficult to take a man off on a hat-trick, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it very is. difficult. You pull him off, does it give him the wrong signal? He's, he'd be hungry for that for a goal and getting a hat-trick. So. And he was, right? Yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, Anthony, Liverpool away next Saturday. 
wow. top top v third now. It's going to be a good game, isn't it? And it's going to be two teams that are going to go and attack because I can't see us going there and just sitting back. I think we're going to have a real go at them. And they didn't look good against Sheffield yesterday. They looked like they had a lot of shaky moments. Like down their right-hand side where Trent Alexander-Arnold plays, there was a lot of space. So potentially we could exploit that. But I think we are going to give them a real good game when we go to Anfield. Yeah, I, I do. I, it's, it's, I think the game next week, if they win, Premier League's theirs. If we win, we slow it down probably for Man City or ourselves to catch up. <laughs> Heather, we, uh, we got a draw at Liverpool last season. Can we go there and get a draw or even better this year? I think we can. Yeah, you think there's a, a I'm chance? I'm definitely confident in this team now. Yeah, do, do you think this team's as good as the Premier League winning side? Could be. It could be, yes. Yes. It could be. It could be, definitely. I mean, I was surprised, unfortunately, <laughs> as when they won the Premier League. Yeah. So I'm going to be surprised again. Yeah. Chappers, could we go Liverpool? Yeah. Of course we could. Yeah, why not? We're as good as them. We're as good as them. You think we're as good yeah, as Liverpool? I think we're as good as them. Right now, the way we're playing right now, fearless. Fearless Foxes. Simon, so, mean, we certainly seem like we are why deserving not? to be in, in, in that top three at the moment. I can't. Chelsea we should have beat Man United. So well. We yeah. should have beat Man United. If only we had. Yeah. We'd be second now if we had. All day but long. But can't complain being third, but if we had beaten United, as I say, second. But I, I, Listen, I'm going to say I'd be more than happy with the draw at Liverpool. Yeah. I'd take, yeah. If that was offered now, I'd take it now, yeah. Simon. Yeah, agreed. I'd take the point now. Thank you very much. Um, very, very difficult game to go up there. Um, they look in absolute cracking form. So it's going to be um, a top of the table clash by the look of it so yeah. it, w it will ju it will help us see where we're at won't yeah. it chappers it will help us see where we are i think so I if we can come back with yeah. the, with something yeah against liverpool or man city um it's going to really show what where we are as a, as a club right now if we are really challenging for that top four position or if we're sort of sick sort of between set 10th and 6th i think if we really compete even if we lose one nil i'll be you know i'll be happy with that against a team like them. What are they, 17 on the bounce? Are they 17 on the bounce? Something like that. Well, it's, it's time for a team to beat them then, Anthony. It yeah. is, isn't it? Every run's got to come to an end, hasn't it? So, I think if we go there and really get at them, they can be got, got at as Sheffield did. Like, Sheffield really got into their faces and stuff, and they didn't like it. So, if we go to Anfield and do sort of the same as what they did yesterday, I really do think we've got a chance. Mm. It is. It's a free hit almost, Chappers, isn't it? Because nobody expects us really to go there and win. We just go and play. I don't know, mate. I think people will expect us to go there and, and do something, do some damage. I think we, I think we're going, I think we will. I think we'll do it. Brilliant. So a fantastic five 0 uh, result here for Leicester against uh, a pretty poor Newcastle team. Yeah. Everybody's confident about going to Liverpool, maybe getting a point or three. Thanks for watching. Let's know who your man of the match was and and which was your favourite goal today. Thanks, Adam.